This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be analyzing rate of reaction graphs. In the following graphs of volume of carbon dioxide produced against time, the hydrochloric acid is the limiting reactant. Therefore, it determines the amount in moles of carbon dioxide produced. So here we have the equation for the reaction. Calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide gas. From the balanced equation, we can see that the molar ratio of hydrochloric acid to carbon dioxide is two to one. And in this video, we'll assume that all reactions are carried out at STP. So in the first graph we look at, we have volume of carbon dioxide produced on the y-axis against time on the x-axis. We have two curves, the blue curve and the red curve. The blue curve is produced by reacting 100 centimeters cubed of 2 mole per decimeter HCl with excess calcium carbonate. The red curve is produced by reacting 100 centimeters cubed of 1 mole per decimeter HCl with excess calcium carbonate. So for the blue curve, we'll determine the amount in moles of carbon dioxide that will be produced. We'll use the equation N, which is amount in moles, equals concentration times volume in decimeters cubed. So that's 2.0 times 100 over 1,000, which gives us 0 0.20 moles of hydrochloric acid. Because of the 2 to 1 ratio, we'll get 0 0.10 moles of carbon dioxide being produced. Next, we'll do the same for the red curve. So using the equation N equals CV, we get 0 0.10 moles of hydrochloric acid. Once again, because of the 2 to 1 ratio, we get 0 0.05 moles of carbon dioxide produced. Assuming that both reactions were carried out at STP, we get twice the volume of gas produced for the blue curve than for the red curve. Next, we'll compare the initial rate of reaction for both curves. The gradient of the line tells us about the rate of reaction. The steeper the gradient of the line, the faster the rate of reaction and vice versa. So by comparing both curves, we can see that the blue curve has a steeper gradient, therefore a faster rate of reaction. This is due to the higher concentration of acid used in the reaction. The higher the concentration of the acid, the faster the rate of reaction. So to summarize for the blue curve, the initial rate of reaction is higher and double the volume of gas is produced. In the next graph, once again we have two curves and we'll analyze the differences between the two. For the blue curve, we react 100 centimeters cubed of two mole per decimeter hydrochloric acid. For the red curve, we react half the volume, that's 50 centimeters cubed, of the same concentration, two mole per decimeter hydrochloric acid. So for the blue curve, we get 0 0.10 moles of carbon dioxide produced. For the red curve, we get half as many moles, that's 0 0.05 moles of carbon dioxide produced. So for the blue curve, we get twice the volume of carbon dioxide produced when compared to the red curve. Next, we look at the initial rate of reaction. So the initial rate of reaction for both curves is the same. This is because the same concentration of acid is used for both curves. So to summarize, the initial rate of reaction is the same for both curves, but half the volume of gas is produced for the red curve. In the next example, we have the reaction of 100 centimeters cubed of two mole per decimeter HCl and 200 centimeters cubed of one mole per decimeter HCl. So for the blue curve and the red curve, we get the same amount in moles of carbon dioxide produced. This means that the volume of gas produced for both curves is the same. If we look at the initial rate of reaction, we can see that the gradient for the blue curve is steeper than the gradient for the red curve. This tells us that the initial rate of reaction for the blue curve is faster. This is due to the higher concentration of acid used to produce the blue curve. So to summarize, for the blue curve, the initial rate of reaction is higher, but the same volume of gas is produced for both curves. In the next example, we'll look at the effect of particle size on the rate of reaction. In this example, 
the same mass of powdered and large lumps of calcium carbonate were added to separate samples of excess hydrochloric acid. So on the graph we have two curves, with the blue curve having the steeper gradient. This tells us that the initial rate of reaction is faster for the blue curve. The blue curve was produced from the reaction of powdered calcium carbonate, and the red curve was produced from the reaction of large lumps of calcium carbonate. The volume of carbon dioxide produced is the same for both curves. This is because the same mass of limiting reactant was used for each reaction. Powdered solids react faster than large lumps due to the greater surface area. As surface area increases, the frequency of collisions increases and the rate of reaction also increases.